Going to take a quick look at uh, electron configuration but shorthand version. So if you've seen my previous video about how you can work out the electron structure from the position of an element uh, in the periodic table, uh, hopefully you'll remember the, what I've got here. If you haven't seen it, just check it out. Um, but and basically you need to have an awareness of what subshell is filling at which part of the periodic table. So 1s starts filling here, then 2s, then 2p and so on. So we'll just have a look at some electron configurations in shorthand form. And basically the shorthand just saves you writing 1s2, 2s2. Uh, you can sort of condense the first part of the electron configuration. So it's really helpful for elements with a lot of electrons. Okay, so you can see I've highlighted arsenic there. So the way it works is you go for the noble gas that comes before. So the noble gas before arsenic is argon and we write AR in a square bracket. So you're basically just saying it's got argon's elect electron configuration, and then we just pick up the subshell filling from there on. So after argon, it's 4s2, obviously that's gonna be full because we're right over here. 4s2, 3d10, and then look at where it is in this 4p section, one, two, three. So it'll be 4p. Three, and that's it really. Um, so we'll do a couple more. I've got the rogue ones as well at the end, just to remind you about them. Um, so what we've got here, we've got magnesium. So what's the noble gas before magnesium? It's neon now. So we'd write neon or NE in square brackets, and then just pick up the subshell. So three S, one, two, so it'll be three S, two. Another one, so chlorine. So again, it's neon comes before, it's a noble gas before, so NE in square brackets, and then what have we got after neon? We've got 3s2, so that's going to be 4, 3s2, 3p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3p5. Uh, another one, so we've got nickel, so we've got one of the transition elements now, so it's going to be argon, square brackets, and then what have we got? We've got 4s2, 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3d, 8. Now what I forgot to say when I did the first one was the 4s and 3d can be written either way around. So I've gone for the order of filling, but you can write them um, the other way around if you want. The exam boards are quite happy with either way. Okay, so the two rogue ones now. So remember chromium is a rogue uh, electron configuration because it's not what you'd expect it's not 4s2 3d1234 uh, it's 4s1 3d5 so i've just done the structure really so argon in square brackets because that's the noble gas before um 4s1 3d5 and then the last one copper so that's the other rogue one so you'd expect it to be argon 4s2 3d9, but it's not. It's argon 4s1 3d10. And that's it.